New at 10, it was like a scene out of an action flick when a Metro bus reportedly hijacked before crashing into a hotel. Fox 11's Ed Lasko is live at the Ritz-Carlton in downtown L.A. Ed. And this one is as crazy as it gets, I'll tell you. A Metro bus hijacked, of all things. A transient jumps on board, fighting for control of the bus. It's flying down city streets, flying like a missile, winds up slamming into there, the Ritz-Carlton. Look at all that plywood. That's covering up the huge gaping hole. As you watch this security video coming up, you'll see the bus fly by, but then listen, you'll hear the crash. Watch. The crash of a hijacked Metro bus, hijacked, careening crazily through downtown, leaving a path of destruction, then slamming right into one of the most exclusive hotels in all of L.A., the Ritz-Carlton. And that's probably, that's something like that you only get to see in the movies, you know? So it's, um, yeah, I had to really come and see it like in person, you know? Uh, yeah, big I, hole, I, right? And I, it's the Ritz-Carlton. I couldn't believe it, man. Wow. It is like something out of the movie Speed, but this is more like like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Really scary. And I was like, oh, what, what's going on over here? And then I looked a little bit left, and I was like, ooh, that bus for sure can't park right there. Yeah, through the wall. Yeah, in the wall. Yeah, I punched a hole right through it. The bus pulled out after its head-on crash into the Ritz. LAPD says a transient jumps on the bus, shows what looks like a gun, and yells, just drive. The bus is empty. The driver guns it. He takes off. Then the transient grabs for the steering wheel, and they are both fighting for control of the bus now. It's turned into a missile, colliding with several vehicles before cutting a direct path for the Ritz. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, it is L.A., and you never know at the, at the end of the day, but uh, it, it's just, it was insane to see it all unfold. Back up, back up, back up. This woman in one of the cars hit by the bus, she is off to the ER. The transient turned hijacker off to jail. He drops his gun, and it, it turns out to be a replica gun, a BB gun. While the Metro bus driver is shaken, he is on his cell telling his dispatcher, no doubt, he, he just had one hell of a ride. There was just some, such a, a huge mess everywhere. And how would you feel? The bus was empty, thank goodness. But suppose you were a passenger on that bus. I mean, it sounds like an insurance claim, right? But, I mean, if I was a passenger, I, I'd be holding on for dear life. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I'd be holding on for dear life, too. Now live, LAPD ID, IDing that transient turned hijacker as Anil Lindsay. He is from Lindsay. He is from Nevada. He's facing a charge not of hijacking, but of kidnapping, kidnapping the driver. The Metro driver and the woman you saw both rushed off to the ER. They're both going to be okay tonight. LAPD saying it's it's just dumb luck that this guy jumped on a bus that is empty. Can you imagine what would have happened if, if the bus was loaded up with passengers? Whew. For now, we are live downtown. No, I don't even want to think about that. Back to West L.A. we go.